everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play. And we are back with Baird Beam. Uh, we're still in the Haunted Inn. It has been a minute um, since we played this game. Um, wow, that's a cool character model. I don't think I've seen that one before. It's kind of cute. Uh, sorry, got distracted. Um, I had a migraine, and it was not a one and done type migraine. It was like a three day long one. Where I was still having symptoms on the third day. Not so much the headache, but just pukey and whatnot. <laughs> so, um, I apologize for taking a little time off. Um, that happened and then my boss ended up quitting her job and I've taken on her responsibilities, um, for, like, the interim until they either fill that position or dissolve it. Um, what that means for the channel is not a whole lot. It, I'm still gonna make videos. Uh, I have enough free time <laughs> that I'm able to do this if I it I never structured our channel around me not having a full-time job as well so we're still able to do it so you shouldn't see too many breaks whoops too many breaks because of that um but I wanted to give you a quick heads up that um I might be a little more stressed out <laughs> until they decide what they're gonna do with that position uh, but for now um it is what it is so what we did last episode is we finished off our deed into the dark and twisted or light and twisted. I don't know. It, it was the Merkwood do enough quest deeds. So I'd like to continue on the main story and also make sure that we don't miss out on the bingo boffin quests. So let's go to the cellar here and talk to Broying. Whoops. And see what he's got to say. Why am I so turned around going down here? Here you are. This waiting wears thin. The elves have still not decided which way to go. Hello again, Baird Beam. This waiting has already begun to wear thin, and my patience was stretched to begin with. The elves have not yet decided which way to go. Perhaps you can help them decide if anyone can. Okay. Someone must take charge, or it will be next winter before we Oops. advance a single step. <laughs> the death of the elf Radir has made uncertain the fate of this journey, Baird Beam, for none of the elves know by which way he planned to bring us in secret to Dol Guldur. Speak with the elves here in the cellar and try to decide on the proper course. Someone must step forward and take charge, or it'll be next winter before we advance even a single step, and who knows what will befall Bori in the meantime. Okay, let's find out which way they want to go. Sigilith. We should head south, through the stony reaches of Tower Morvith. Okay. Radir brought us into the Drownhold, despite the danger for a reason, Baird Beam. He must have planned for us to take the southernmost way towards Dolgador, and to bring us in secret up to the southern base of the rocky spire upon which the fortress stands. We should therefore head south through the stony reaches of Tower Morvith. That is the way Radir wanted us to go, I am sure of it. The other members of the company may disagree, but we must at least set out, or his death will have been for naught. And that is true. Alright, and Surreal. The enemy would never expect us to take the road through the Scuttledells. I do not, I do not know what to do, Baird Beam. I believe Radir thought to approach Dol Guldur by the way least likely to be watched by the forces of the enemy. But our excursion into the Drownhold... I have to believe that Radir knew what he was doing, Baird Beam, and that he knew the risks, but still he took us into the Drownholt. He must have had a good reason. The enemy would never expect us to take the road through the Scuttled Dells, for that place has a dangerous reputation. That is the path of greatest secrecy, and only through the Scuttled Dells will we come to Dol Guldur with our prisoner and our presence unannounced. Interesting. And... Hello. Arkador. Let us move directly eastward to Dol Guldur, by the straightest way. We cannot wait here for a revelation that may not come, Baird Beam. We will never know what road Radir intended for us to take. No, we must decide and decide quickly. The quick road will lead will be the safest road. Let us move directly eastward to Dol Guldur by the straightest way. Radir believed our greatest strength was in secrecy, but the dangerous path through the Drownholt cost him his life. Let us be done with secret ways. The straightest course, like a swift arrow, is the one we should now take if we wish to avoid a similar fate. Interesting. And Kuchurian. Where is he? He's not on the map. Outside. 
Might be outside. He might be on the. Is he the one on the front porch? Aha! Uh -huh. Ask three elves which way is best to take, and you will receive three answers, <laughs> yep. each different. This is as I expected, Bearbeam. Ask three elves which way is best to take, and you will receive three answers, each different. We have little time left to waste. I want you to scout these proposed roads, my accommodating lore master, and assess the dangers along each. Perhaps that will aid with our decision. Seek the scouts we sent to the Scuttle Dells, Emin Loom, and Tower Morvith, and question them about the dangers they have encountered. Okay, we can do that, because I need to go to some of these anyway. Scuttle Dells, Emin Loom, uh, Tower Morvith? Where's that? Oh, back. I can't be back here. No, that's something else. Oh, Tower Morvath down here. Okay. Wait, what What do we have to do back there? Oh, well, let's go back there first then. We'll take the Stable Master here. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll do the scouting. But I gotta get breakfast materials, you guys. <laughs> Scouting can wait. I know you are all impatient. And you've asked me to do a very important task, but I need to collect some mushrooms. Actually, I think we're looking for bushels of sage. Is that Oscalad? Where's Oscalad? Oops. Oscalad. Hello? Hmm. Well, we know we have to run around down here, so let me just see what there is. Mushroom? No. Um. We are in the zone, I think? Now we are. What am I collecting? I still don't know what this is, but... Down by the river, is there something? Ah, a warg! That something? No. I see nothing to collect. What are we getting? Are we still in the zone? Yeah, we are. Oh, Os- uh, wait. Is this something? The wild ruin. Put this up here. What's this place? Echid Glamond. Is that one of the- No. But, uh, this is still in the place, so maybe- Nope, not the mushrooms. Ammond egg in it. Did I miss the turn off? Because this doesn't feel like a path. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm... Here. Need to go here. Hey, everybody. Nothing here. Okay. Um... Oh, collect meat from crows? Especially M and Loom. Oh, that might be it. Sprigs of mint from around the Tower of Minas Gill. Where the heck is Minas Gill? Okay. Well, let's kill... Um, I saw some crows on the way up. Maybe it's pointing out... Crows. You. Are you a crow? Okay. Let's give this a try. Get him! Crow meat? Aha! 
That's what we were doing down here. Okay. I thought we were going to be picking... Picking some sage or something on the ground. Alright, crow. I can definitely get these guys. That's no problem. What am I in combat with? Who lurked? You lurker, get out of here. Soon we will retake these shores. Uh -uh. Okay. So we don't actually have to whoops. Be down in this area. We can actually run back up there. Well, I didn't have to come back here then, because there's crows up there. What am I in combat with now? <laughs> Why do I keep getting into combat? Alright, Cribbing, where are you? There's some. Oh, right here. Three. Four. And I see one over there. Alright, this will be the last crow meet. I see you, you warg. Okay. Alright, that is taken care of. Yep, that was it. Oh, good. Then it puts these other ones on the map. Okay. Well, then we can go up to the road and make our way. Let's go to the Scuttle Dells first. It's a spooder place. That's what I know about it, or remember about it. Massive spooders. this up right up here where are we uh oh it's the gate okay mm -mm 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 -mm. I didn't realize that was a big ruin I suppose all right through the gate and we will go just straight we could stop in Emin loom I suppose and then go north to the Scuttle Dells. Actually, it might be good to stop at the Haunted Inn and just take the fast travel. <laughs> <up there. laughs> What's that? Oh, it's like a wicked moth one. Huh. Interesting. There's someone's camp. Get out of here. I'm just coming through. That's the most, like... <laughs> not... <laughs> what is it? Conspicuous? Like, what's the opposite of inconspicuous? <laughs> That's the most obvious tent. It's a big old gaudy tent in the middle of the forest. Alright. Alright. We're back at the Haunted Inn, except I think I'm going to have to jump down a hill. Uh, where's the... Yeah, right up here. Okay. Dang, what a roundabout journey we've been on. What okay, Emin Loom. Don't I have it unlocked? What's this place? Ostgala, that's where it is. Okay, go. Go, go, go. And we'll stop and we'll talk to this person in Ascalon. And then go to the scuttle, go, scuttle Dells. And get spider meat and find Gladiel. I have arrived. Where's our person? Actually, it says they're back here. Is it them? They've got a different color 
Is the road of the Malad oh, yeah, also is. that of the Hidden Guard? Should okay. it be? You have come to ask a lad, Bear Beam, where the Golden Host prepares for the next leg of its journey. Is the road of the Maladrim also the road of the Hidden Guard? I do not know if it should be, but if it must, we shall learn at least what dangers lie along it. Travel east of Askeladd and keep your eyes open for enemies on the road. As the road climbs towards Minas Gil, there are upright stones on one side of the path. Perhaps you can hide behind these stones and learn what the orc's presence may be in Emin Loom. Really? That is... Over there. But if I go down here, I've got some stuff, so... Oop. Go down this way. Um, what is this right here? A wild ruin? That would be... This is where the sage is. And we've got someone to talk to down here. Okay, well, I'm doing the opposite of what the original plan was, so... <laughs> I wanted to go north into the Scuttle Dells. But I did not realize these were quests of their own. Which actually is good, because it gives us more to, more time in Mirkwood. I was worried, because I was like, we haven't even explored Mirkwood yet, and... Uh, we're already done with the deed. Alright, sage? That looks like some sage. Okay. Sage? A crow! Mirkwood crow! And not some sage, huh? Man, the problem when it rains is everything looks like it's sparkling. <laughs> There's some. Sage bush. What else was down here? Someone to talk to you right down here, I think. Or sage anywhere? There's one. Floating. A floating sage. A special kind. Okay, and one more somewhere. Um. Got that. Now, there's something here. What a ghost. Raged spirit. You, I think I need you. I do not ah. know if the Southern Way is the ideal road for the Hidden God. There are a number of orc camps in Tor Morveth, Bear Beam. I do not know if the Southern Way is the ideal road for the Hidden Guard to take to Dol Guldur. My friend Malindol headed south to investigate, but he has not returned. If you will travel south and scout the pair of orc forts there, you may find some sign of my friend. If the orc presence is so great as to cause him trouble, it is certainly too dangerous for the Hidden Guard to bring Mazog this way. It is to be hoped that Malindol is not in Cruel Lugu itself. But you should start your search there, in case the worst has happened. Okay. We'll do that. It's down. There's only one? She said to look for two. Okay, well... Maybe we find his body. <laughs> I actually don't remember. I don't know if it's... Yeah, that wasn't a spoiler, because I don't know what we're going to find. But I assume if we're supposed to scout two ruins and there's only one ring, this is probably a body. Or I guess it could be, let's be optimistic, it could be like his sword or something. You make note of the art presence at Cruel Lugu. Oh, he's fine! Hey friend. You okay? More orcs are coming up from the south. Man, you must help me. me. Bairdbeam, have you come from Cruel Lugu? I went to scout these orc camps, but more orcs came marching out of the east from Dol Guldur, and I could not rejoin Embrys in the north. <clears throat> I've been resting to regain my power before attempting to make my way there. 
I am not yet at my full strength, and more orcs are coming up from the south. You must help me. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm playing a defense here. Don't worry, dude. I got you covered. I got you covered, bud. Me and Mavar. Been on a long journey, let me tell you. Started out in Bree. Made our way through Moria. Yeah, we have been, like, all over. <laughs> like, the journey of this character in Lord of the Rings is just... Man, you've done a lot. Why am I dying so hard? Okay. Talk to Embrys at the Verdant Shrine. All right, find your way back. Wow, find your way back, my dude. Be careful up there. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm clearing my throat or coughing a lot. This I actually haven't noticed, but uh, I'm having a little bit of throat trouble. <laughs> And it's just because it, I, you know, worked at home for a year, and now I'm back in the office talking to people all day long. So it's a... <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> and we're gonna knock on wood and hope that it's not a cold. I was worried about that, actually, going back and being around this people again. This way is not safe. <clears throat> the Hidden God must find another route. Thank you for scouting the orc camps of Cruel Lugu, and for coming to the aid of Malindol, Beardbeam. With what you have to say about the orc presence in Tor Morvith, it must be my recommendation to the Hidden Guard that the southern route to Dol Guldur is not safe. Bringing the orc Mazog this way would be ill-advised indeed. They must find some other way to the fortress, a way that preserves the secrecy of their errand. Okay. What does this look like? Can I see... Eh, it just looks like a sword. Nice elf sword, though. A curved one. What about this one? Neither one of them look great. Let me just give me this. <laughs> Alright. So we got that one. We ruled that out. Um, now I think we could go north to the Scuttle Dells. Uh-oh. Alright, where's Minas Gill? Oh, I, I have to do something over there, so we won't miss it. I love how Bingo Boff and Quest just kind of coincide with the main story quest. Oh, here's another- I didn't realize that these were tents, I suppose, when I came here before. That's really cool. Um, am I still being chased, even though we're running through this place? Alright. To the spooters. Wait, there's a better road up over here, I think. Go that way. Uh, I think this is the road. Yes, okay. No. It would have come out the other side of the. What? What did I not see? A crow. <laughs> okay, this road is gonna lead us to. Scuttle Dells, right? Yes. And there's gonna be a road going up to the north here. I guess we don't have to follow the road exactly, but... What's this? A random rock in the middle of the road? Alright. Here we are in the Scuttle Butts. Um, and we're looking for... <clears throat> and I know it's Scuttle Dells. Looking for, um, oh, just spider meat. So we just gotta have to kill some spiders. Pool of tranquility. That looks anything but tranquil. And then let's go find the person up here. Cause she might, she or he, I actually don't know. Might give us a, um, quest to kill some spiders. So... Two birds, one stone. You heard me right, crow. 
Ow. You attack me, I attack you. There we go. Oh, ding! Actually, with that, I think we can put on the gear that got sent to us. Where did it go? I didn't sell it, did I? No. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the gear. Okay. Okay, we gotta talk to this person. Is that does that actually give us a point? No. Are all the points coming now uh, from like completing deeds and stuff? That might actually be true. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know enough about the game. Hail and well met. It is good to speak with an ally at last. Hail, Lore Master, and well met indeed, for I have seen naught but spiders and black dogs for three days now, and it is good to speak with an ally at last. A great gloom hangs over this corner of the wood, likely emanating from the barrows just to the north of here. No one has tended those barrows for an age, and they are home now to evils only, and the spiders are everywhere. I cannot recommend that the hidden guard come this way until we know for sure how deadly the venom of these spiders may be. It seems that the eyes of Dol Guldor are not watching the scuttle dolls, but that will be no relief to any of our company who fall to the spiders in the name of secrecy. Take this cloth and use it to gather the venom from slain spiders here in the scuttle dells. I will see how perilous it may be. Hey, she did give us a quest to kill some spooder. That is a... Hello. She did say there was a barrel. There. Alright, um, where are all the spiders at? I don't want crows. Scuttle crow. <laughs> what a name. I would name my hobbit that if we had a hobbit. <laughs> Scuttle crow. This place is supposed to be crawling with spiders, man. Where, where are they at? Maybe I gotta go down. I know we're up here. Maybe we gotta go. I'm stuck on a tree. The problem is, if I go down, we have to come back up. <laughs> I don't know how to. Um, I see any. I'm seeing things now. I thought I saw a spider. <laughs> All right. I I don't. I don't know where these spiders are. This place is crawling with them. Where are they all at? Someone came around and killed them all. I'll blame it on that. Although, did she say... Do we have to go in the barrels? I mean, here's a spider web. So we know we're... Getting close. Wait, what's this? Improved staff sweep? Really? For each enemy hit- wait. For each enemy hit, you receive a buff to crit chance for your next fire skill. Huh. Is that a spider? No, that's a bush. <laughs> Dang it. Spiders! Hello, you hidden goof. Alright, let's go. Critical strike chance? I don't see the numbers, like... There's no numbers popping, so I don't know if we crit or not. Okay. But I've got zero venom. And their bodies are gone. Like, what? Am I not in the right spot? It says here. That dog got pissed off that I stood by him for too long. Maybe they're the wrong spider? Oh. <laughs> I see. Is 
that didn't do it either. We'll go in here and see what we can get. You silence me. Black Venom Spider. Maybe this... I, he's got venom in his name, so... Maybe this is it. Ah! There's two! Two leggy spiders! That didn't do it either. Okay, that one worked. Oh, I have to get poisoned. Okay, poison me, please. I remember this quest now. I had to Google it the first time. You know what? This is gonna be a problem. Poison me, please. Poison me! <laughs> Do it! Don't. Poison me! Alright, I don't think he's gonna poison me. Okay, let me, um... This is gonna be hard. I collected two, but not off that guy. Um, let me do a quick one of these. Three points, okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Red, sure, fine. I, it's fine. Okay. Um, what if I? Did this? Or what if I did? Um, actually, stop. I did this and put you on passive for now. All right, let's try this. Oh, you stupid rock! Okay, he's not gonna attack. I need you. No, I stop. Don't attack him. Poison me. Okay, I got poison. Now I can kill him. I did that. Kill him. Did that work? Nope. That's not the answer. Okay. <laughs> got it. So we'll just go back. It's just gonna take a while. Okay. I don't, I don't quite get this one and why some of them work and some of them don't. Maybe it's just a unique drop rate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you piss me off, game. <laughs> Alright, well we've definitely found the spider layer though. Although there are no spiders. For as much webbing as there is, I feel like there should be more spooters in here. Or. I swear, I thought this was the one where you had to get poison. Maybe I'm thinking of- I don't even know if I'm thinking of the same game, to be honest. I just make shit up sometimes. Fair down. Lower poison, so... Alright, that did it. Let me get that poison off of me. Okay. Let's go back. Bring the cloth containing venom samples to Gladio. Gladios. Gotta get back to her somehow. <laughs> Where'd all these spiders come from? I just ran through here. Nothing. Now you're all just coming out and having a party. What the heck? <laughs> Oh god. Sorry, Baird. 
<laughs> oh, goodness. I feel very attached to Baird Beam today. I don't know if I'm just emotional or <laughs> like... But, you know, we've been through some thick and thin. What, what even episode are we on? Like 120-something? That's a lot. <laughs> with 45 minutes apiece? We've been at it with Baird Beam. That's really cool. Very attached today and emotional. <laughs> I apologize. But we've come very far. I've got so much more to go, too. Um, you think there's a way over here to get back to her? I know we crossed a lot of bridges. Man, look at all the spiders, and we couldn't find a single one on our way in. got ambushed <laughs> I, so for those of you who play um is it possible to get all the way to 130 solo or at some point do you have to group up that I, I think i've explained this before but as i play this game uh the farthest i've made it is to the beginning of rohan and after that i know nothing about the game which is i'm really excited for that because it's going to be like playing a brand new game and experiencing brand new things with like familiar settings that are to the lord of the rings so i'm excited for that like big time excited but i was also thinking the other day that i don't know <laughs> if it's possible to get to 130 without doing group content like at some point will we run out of stuff to do because i when i look at like people talking in chat and everything it, they're not really 130s they're like 125s, 120s. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you if you do know. I'd be really curious about that. I mean, I'm sure there's probably ways we could get to 130, like... Doing some, uh... What are they called? Skirmish grinding and stuff. Let right. me see. In small quantities... It appears that this venom need not be fatal. Ah. Let me see the samples of venom you have collected using the cloth I gave you, Baird Beam. In such small quantities as you would encounter with a single spider, this venom will make you ill, but should have no lasting effects. Large doses of the venom would be more serious, of course, but I can recommend passage through the Scuttle Dells to the elves of the Hidden Guard, as long as they can limit exposure to large numbers of these spiders as they pass. Spider Cleaver. And spiders and insects. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Well, we got the scuttle bells done. We got spider meat for bingo. Next is down here. So I should only need one more thing for bingo. Yep. And one more thing <clears throat> for the scouting. Yep. And it's in the same area. Let's get out of here and we'll go straight down to that area. Bow. Uh oh We didn't want to end up here at the graveyard, but I guess if there's a, re <laughs> a way to end up there, it's an accident, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Move it. Move it, dear. Ah! I've been chased by a spider, and I'm slow. Okay, uh, we're looking for sprigs of mint and hide behind upright stones on the road to Minas Gill, which is hide behind this. Okay, I'm hiding. You hide behind the upright stone. Oh. Keep your eyes peeled, or I'll have something to tell the blade about you. Huh? The blade. Oh. Did we get spotted? No. More orc 
control. Will they see us if I just stay here? Box on this hill. How long do we need to keep this watch, boss? <laughs> They're really watching this. Uh, did I miss a rock? No, there's one up here. Should be. I didn't want to pull that guy. <clears throat> I don't want to kill the kitty. Even though if it, even though it's a murder kitty. Okay. Another stone, and then we need the mint. Uh, there are shards of twilight here. What do you guys got to say? I could do with some grub. How many of us really need to watch this road anyway? So it's very heavily patrolled. Interesting. Alright. So we really don't want to come this way. Looks like Scuttledells is going to be the way we go. I didn't realize this was like a big scary tower. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to go in there. It's scary. Alright, Shard of Twilight, you ancient evil. Oh! What the heck? Where'd he go? Right here. Get him, Mavar. Oh, you're still on passive. Um. I just need the mint. I didn't want to kill evils. Hey, okay. Bingo's gotta make a good breakfast. Okay, one more. Alright, where's my- oh, I was gonna say where's my milestone set? We should probably reset that. <laughs> Alright, back to M and Loom. We'll turn in the bingo quest first. Uh -oh. And then uh, we'll go turn in the book quest and see what awaits us next episode. All these crows. I'll tell you what. I think they've got nothing better to do with their time. Oh. We need to stop here to turn in this first anyway. Okay. What is safe for the Golden Host is not safe for the errand of the Hidden Guard. I see, Beardbeam. It would appear that the orcs are indeed watching the road through Emin Loom very closely. What is safe for the Golden Host, then, is not safe for the errand of the Hidden Guard. I cannot recommend this way to Kucharian. The Hidden Guard must find another way to Dolgaldor. A secret way. Passage through Emin Loom is too closely watched. Okay. Scuttles! Wasn't that what Isuriel wanted? I like her the best anyway, so... <laughs> I'm gonna take the fast travel. Should I set our horse to here? I, where does this go? Can I go can to... I oh. Friend standing with Galadrian. I don't know where that is, so no, I won't. I'm not gonna set it here. <laughs> If we get friend with uh, Lothlorien, that might... Wait, the Galadrim? That's not this one, right? That's... that's, um... We're with the Maledrim. 
And Gladrim is from Lothlorien, because it's Gladriel's people. I think. Alright, folks. I'm back. Uh, I will be right back to talk to you. First, I want to talk to Bingo. Because he's going to make us some taters. Bingo, got your stuff. My belly feels so empty. <laughs> I've been so hungry lately. Ah, good, good. Thank you for bringing these ingredients back to me. I'm very excited to prepare this breakfast, for my belly feels so empty. I've been so hungry lately. While you were gone, I went to look for a Adrian to consult with her about how best to prepare this spider meat so it will not taste vile or make us sick, but I could not find her. Could you ask one of the rangers where I might find her? Presta dear seems to be in charge. He might know where she has gone. Okay, I can... Uh-oh. Oh, the computer's making noises over there. All right. What do you need? Uh, I'm sorry, Baird Beam. For whom are you looking? Adulin. I do not know anyone by that name. You tell Presta dear that Bingo met a ranger named Adulin, and she gave him a book of recipes, but now she seems to have disappeared. I do not know what to tell you, friend. There is no ranger by that name here, nor anywhere, unless our ranks are much larger than I realized, or my memory is much worse than I believed. Perhaps both are true, but I do not think so. Oh god, it was a ghost! That's so cool! <laughs> That's awesome, I wasn't expecting well, this that. this is quite a puzzle. Who gave me this book of recipes? Uh, this is quite a, quite a puzzle. You say that Prestadir does not know of any rangers by that name? If Adulin was not a ranger, then with whom was I speaking? Who gave me this book of recipes? Talk to Adelinda. Oh! <laughs> I'm Adelinda, and I lived in Aldegheim long ago. I am sorry I have dece deceived the two of you. My name is Adelinda, <clears throat> and I lived in Ogham long ago. A great evil was committed here, and I did not speak against it. For that, I am cursed, never to find rest or peace. I arranged for your friend to find my old book of recipes, for I wanted nothing more than to pass on the activities that gave me such joy in life, when joy was possible. But I know now that it can never be, and it was the sense of family, the sense of belonging that I truly missed. Mirkwood was not always called such. Once it was Greenwood the Great and the woodmen thrived beneath its canopy. The recipes I wrote for my people made exclusive use of the herbs and creatures that dwelled within, but so many of them will never return, and those meals will never be made again. Such is the nature of my curse. All else will change, but I will not. Watching the two of you has been bittersweet, but it dispelled my loneliness for a time, no matter how briefly. I thank you for that kindness. Aww. This experience has <clears throat> sent shivers down my <laughs> spine. But I'm, I am still hungry. Oh, I'm astounded to learn that Adelina labors beneath a curse, and has done so for who knows how many years. I mean, this place is called the Haunted Inn, but I did not really think... Bingo sputters into silence. To be fair, the lighting in here is very dim. I think my mistake is quite understandable, and Adelina did not go out of her way to correct me, did she? I thought her name was Adrulin, which seems to me more likely a ranger's name than Adelinda. I must confess that I am pleased to n I need not try spider meat now, but I am still hungry. I will need something. My rumbling belly could wake the dead. Oh, that may have been in poor taste. I am terribly sorry, but it does not change the fact that I have missed a breakfast and cannot continue my adventure until I have something. <laughs> uh, I love this quest line. This it is so empty good. This belly of mine has made it quite impossible for me to concentrate. Uh, this empty belly of mine has made it quite impossible for me to concentrate on further documenting our stay in Mirkwood, Baird Beam. I am glad that we were able to give Adelinda a momentary distraction from her curse, but the fact remains that her recipe for breakfast involved spider legs, and while I am powerless to do anything about the curse, it is within my power to refuse a breakfast of hairy spider legs. No spider legs for me, thank you. Yuck. I told Willem about my dissatisfaction and hunger, and he ran off. Can you ask around the inn and see if anyone knows what has become of him? I expect he has gone in search of a second breakfast, and I would greatly appreciate your hastening him back here with it. Oh, uh, what a good quest line. <laughs> that was good. That tickled. <laughs> Alright, let's turn in this main story, and then uh, we'll wrap it up there, so. I see. 
Your information has helped me decide what we must do. I have decided what we must do, Baird Beam. The path through Tower Morvith would bring us too near the orc camps in the valley, and we are certain the direct way through Emin Loom, along which the Golden Hosts will march, is already being watched. No, our path lies through the Scuttle Dells. It will be dangerous, but that will itself serve as a cloak for spying eyes. Speak with the Suriel in the cellar of this inn and tell her I have chosen her suggested path. Alright, we will do that, but I'm going to do that in the next episode. So guys, uh, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. When we come back, we will continue the main quest and we'll make sure we do the Binko Boffin quest as well. Um, so thank you so much for all your support. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.